Hello everyone, my name is Kilby. And by popular demand, in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to start playing as a goalkeeper in FIFA 22's Pro Clubs. I'll be explaining the basic controls as well as giving you all tips on how to improve and get your game to the next level. Now the reason I waited so long to make this video is that I wanted to first of all be good at the game before I gave you all tips. And I know that sounds weird, but it indeed took me this long to be comfortable with the gameplay. And the reason it took me this long is that I haven't played the game as much as I could last year because of everything in my life starting back up. Thank God. But I'm here now and I can finally present myself again as someone worthy of giving you all credible advice. If you're new to goalkeeping, consider joining my Discord channel with close to 500 other goalkeepers to share your experiences with and help each other learn the game. But with that said, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So first of all, let's start off with the basic controls, as obviously you'll be using these the most. I think it speaks for itself that diving will be a big part of your game. So to dive, you just have to point the right analog stick into the direction of the shot. Be sure to not move the right stick up until the moment that the shot has been made. If you move it too early, your keeper will just hop to the side, which will cause your keeper to get locked off the ball and will result in an easy goal for your opponent. For most close range shots, just a flick will be enough, but for long range shots, you'll have to hold the right stick for a longer period of time. So as a general rule, be sure to hold the right stick until the save has been made. And when the shot comes from outside of the box, wait until you see the ball go inside of the box before you start moving the right stick. When diving, it's also important to let go of L1, so make sure to release L1 when moving the right stick. Now, as you can see, to position yourself before a shot, you have two main options. If you've ever played pro clubs before, you know that holding L1 will auto position your player. However, in most scenarios, this will not be the best way to position your goalkeeper. As especially for actions inside of the box, your keeper will just run from the left to the right while overrunning his position and just leaving an open net. So instead, try opting for manual movement by just using your left stick to control your player while occasionally tapping L1 to adjust your position. Now, I must say, in FIFA 22, manual positioning is more heavy than in previous years. What I mean by that is that you'll have to be more careful when moving the left stick, especially when the opposition has a ball inside of your box. You'll have to very gently move the left stick in order to not overrun your position. So therefore, I've noticed that this year it's better to just give light flicks to the left stick to slightly correct your positioning instead of constantly holding it to the direction you want to go. And you'll definitely see me do this in most of the clips. But be sure to let me know if you've experienced the same feeling in this year's game. Now another button to adjust your position is of course triangle. Using triangle makes your keeper sprint straight to the ball and you'll definitely need this in 1v1 situations. However, just holding triangle is never a good idea as your opponent will clearly see what you're doing and you're just setting yourself up for an easy chip. So instead, you can try and trick your opponent into shooting early by tapping triangle once or just moving forwards manually and then repositioning yourself. Now of course, when you see that you can get to the ball before your opponent, by all means, please just hold triangle, as it will be the easiest solution. Moving on, pressing circle or square will force your keeper to drop to the ground and put his body in the way. Now, just like last year, in most scenarios, this is not the optimal way. And you're better off just holding triangle and going for the auto save, or just completely standing still and diving with the right stick. But like you see in the examples, if the ball is a 50-50 between yourself and the striker, it can be very effective to press square to make sure your keeper blocks the low ball. This however will make you more vulnerable to ships. Also since your player is on the ground, you won't be able to move for a few seconds. Now if you want to keep it simple and put your money on the other save, you might come across a regular mistake. And this mistake is that in these situations, your keeper sometimes just runs to the ball and doesn't even react at all. Of course, it's a difficult thing to master as the game isn't always working the way it should be. But as you can see in these clips, using this mechanic in the right situation can make all the difference. You'll also be using triangle when coming out for corners or crosses. Just hold triangle until you're close enough to the ball and then flick the right stick upwards to punch or catch it. If you want to prepare yourself before a cross, feel free to use the left stick to move your keeper slightly towards the receiving player to give yourself an advantage. In these situations, if you've positioned your keeper more forwards, you can also just use L1 instead of triangle if your positioning is good of course. This method is very effective, 
but the only thing you'll have to look out for is not to leave your goal completely open too soon, as the white player still might have enough time to change his mind and shoot instead. Distributions this year have been very weird. Throwing the ball towards your teammate is in most situations far from the best thing to do. As you can see, when throwing the ball, you get an incredibly heavy spin on the ball, which can totally ruin your throw, even if you aimed it perfectly. So a better solution is just to kick it 90% of the time. Even if you want to play to a teammate on your own half, last year if you wanted to play a long ball over the defense, it was best to use circle instead of square. But from my experiences, this is not the case in FIFA 22. When you want to play a long ball to your strikers, as long as you're going for a full power bar, you can go with either circle or square and the result will be the same. Also passes from the ground is something that you have to watch out for, especially when you're under high pressure from the attackers. If you're trying to just clear it, be sure to not hold the square for too long, as when you're trying to fill up the power bar, your keeper just takes too much time to kick the ball and the attacker will have a big opportunity to block the pass. So instead, try to aim for around 2.5 bars of power. This will get your kicks up to the midfield while still being a very quick action. Now most of these tips have been concerning the controls of the game. But besides that, be sure to get a lot of games in of course. Every year you need to learn the new game as the controls and mechanics will just be a little bit different than before. You'll have to take time, make mistakes and learn from them. As another tip, try to rewatch the mistakes you've made after a game and try to figure out what you could have done better. And in the same way, rewatch the save you actually did make and look what went right, so that you can copy that and take that to the next game. Now I hope this video helped all of you out who were new to goalkeeping and of course didn't scare you off. Please just know every situation will be slightly different for each game and I'm just trying my best to help you all understand what to do in the most common scenarios. So guys, thank you all for watching. If you've got any more questions, be sure to let me know down in the comments or via any of these other mediums. But again, thank you for watching. See you next time. Stay safe.